Hey guys, this is Zenkronis here. Welcome back to Minecraft. Today I am sort of on the verge of starting Clash of Clans 2. I haven't exactly done a lot in it. I had the map started. I no longer know where that map is, but if I find it, I'll get back to it. But I'm, at the moment I'm working on some of the features. So here we've got my updated gold mine, or um, gold storage even. So I made it just look a little bit nicer than the previous one. The previous one was a little bit kind of mishmash. Um, but I also wanted to make it have other features so it's not just like one solid building that does absolutely nothing. It wasn't even used last game. Um, so this time I decided, yep, I want to do something with it. So I was considering that we could put an ender chest in here um, and that way you could save your items between games or yeah so if you had and, and instead of the gold mines um, giving you XP points they could also just give you actual gold um, so a new currency system as well but anyway today I'm going to be showing you this one and what this one here is is just a simple well simple or not so simple locking system. Um, you can see there's actually no way of me getting in this door. Chest is locked. All that kind of stuff. Um, this is clearly... oops. I forgot I was in creative. So this here is clearly the blue team's storage. Um, so blue team, insert key here. Well, chest is locked. But wait, here we go. Blue key. So if I do that. Oops. There we go. So that was me unlocking the chest uh, with the blue key and it's opened the door. And then in here you could have your ender chest like that and then you could save items across the game. So say one game you saved up tons and tons of gold and you managed to get yourself two pieces of diamond armor. Just put it in your storage and because it's the ender chest it would be personal storage and that would save it for you. Um, then you just lock it up again. The other thing you could possibly do, or I could possibly do, is have it just as an actual storage room for the actual gold. So you would contribute your gold in here. It wouldn't be an actual chest. What you'd have is you'd have a button um, linked to a command block that would keep track of how much gold you put in. And to give you like... <coughs> Oh, it could almost be like interest on it, or it could just be team bonuses. So you put in this amount of gold to your team, so you get priority on loot, things like that. Um, I'm also looking into custom mob spawners, so that I can have not quite a single player version because that would take it's that would make it more an adventure map than a PvP map. But just to give it some sort of element of single for people who don't have many friends on Minecraft, on Minecraft, don't worry, I'm not accusing anyone of anything. Uh, so if you've not got many friends that play Minecraft or you don't have any other many other players running around with you, then you could go over and attack some mobs to get some loot. It's also probably be quite a good way for beginners to get well for beginners to um, get some loot. Because obviously, if you, or if you've got a slow computer, it's going to make PvP pretty hard for you. Um, so that'd be a quite good way. Um, now I'm just going to show you the internals of it, which is actually pretty messy, but I'll try and explain it as best I can. Uh, basically, simple. Really, really simple. It is just a T flip flop. This bit here with a redstone block in it. Um, when I open the chest with the key, it sends a signal through here that turns off this torch or on this torch opening and closing the door so I'll just show you here you can see that piston there so when I do that you can see that piston pushes out the blocks now moved and it turns off this the way the chest works this is a new feature for 1.8 or the new snapshots at least <coughs> um, so what you need is you need a command lock so you do I could probably just, oh no, I have locked out. Slash give key on three seven one. God damn it. Slash. Yes, 
Yes, there is. Okay, well, it seems like 1.8 is going to be a bit of a bitch when you're trying to find items. Is it been moved into the rest zone? No, it hasn't. Lovely. Um, well, I did actually have a command block here, so I'll just show you the command that you would use. You'd do... Well, this here, actually. Slash block data. The coordinates, so that's x, y, z. Lock, then what you've named your item. Now, this doesn't have to be a piece of uh, lapis called blue key, you could actually have it as pretty much anything. Um, you could probably even have a trap chest named that and it would still work. Um, yeah, so that's my door unlocking system using the new trap chest from 1.8 and this is a preview of one of the items coming up in the new Clash of Clans map. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I want to apologise for the crackling of the mic, it is a really cheap one as I damage my Sennheiser mic. Um, anyway, I will see you again next time with more content.